Hello and welcome to another episode of me drawing and today we're using the uh, Derwent metallic pencils Derwent metallic pencils and um, we've got myself a set of 12 and I'm also going to be using the Derwent colour soft white on the black paper now, I'm only using the white for my uh, outline that's what I'm going to be doing now um, of a mallard duck mallard duck I uh, live not far from a lake, so I get to see these ducks quite a lot. And I thought, while I was walking my dog, I thought they would make a good, a good drawing. So I took a picture, and here we go. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the head shape first. Um, what I tend to do is I just dive in <laughs> have you seen uh, can't speak today <laughs> as you've seen before I just go for it and see what happens that's the only way I've found works for me because when I try planning things too much um, I don't know I guess I over plan it <laughs> it doesn't work but if I just go for it I uh, see a subject I want to draw and I just just get the pencils out, just have a go. Um, it seems to work a lot better. Right, something like that, the head shape is. Um, we can refine it though when we start using the colours. Um, the beak. So there's a bit of a triangle right there. So I'll put that in. And then. I'm sort of going like this on the picture. I do this with my pencil so I can see if I'm getting the angle right. I do that quite a lot. And then I, uh, I, get, I lean back in my seat <laughs> and I ask myself if I'm getting it right. And I spend a lot of time doing that. Just going, mm, is that right? Is that angle right? Um, that shape right because uh, well, you, you need to be doing this. This is what I'm going with right, right, right along the angle. <laughs> yeah, you need to be constantly asking yourself, Have I got this right? Is this angle right? If it isn't, pull out the eraser, rub it out. Um, when you first start the drawing, that's the hardest bit because you've got nothing, nothing to go on. <laughs> Once you start adding stuff, that's when uh, you've got things to work with, like this eye. And, and sort of going like this, the angle between the beak and the eye is sort of like there. Like about there. And then suddenly you've got something to work with then. You've got your eye there. Let me just set them up with my finger. The eye. Light on the eye there. Yeah, and you can use this now as your base. Because now straight away I can see this head. It isn't quite right. It's not far off. I'm thinking about how many eyes there are. Like, I think there's uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so it's about there. That is about right, actually. And then how many eyes up is it? One, two, bit out there. So yeah, not bad. <laughs> not bad uh, bit of guesswork. And then uh, start having a look and, and seeing the highlight here sort of rounded. And then maybe I'll start introducing a bit of uh, metallic colour 
I'm pretty happy with where the eye is. So I can start looking at the uh, highlights now using the green metallic. I can go over this white with the green as well. It's okay. It's quite dark um, beyond that area, so let's just put that in there. Now I can see when I'm putting in these shadows, I can see the beak isn't in the right position. So now you're wondering, well, why didn't you start with the eye? <laughs> and then work out and yeah, maybe that is a good idea. It's hard to tell really because sometimes it works when you just, like I say, I tend to just throw things in and sometimes it's right and sometimes it isn't. <laughs> Sure, there's artists out there much better than me. We know better systems. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, and then uh, having a look, looking at the picture that I'm drawing, having another look, thinking scale. Things looking right. Kind of want a bit, bit of blue in the back of the head there. And this mallard. Something like that. Okay. So these are uh, metallic pencils. Um, they're actually uh, water soluble as well, so you can use water with them, like watercolour pencils. It's quite good, but I try using them like that on black paper, and the effect doesn't really work for me. The, the colour sort of disappears. You know. on, the, on the white paper, look great. And you don't see the metallicness very well. So, hmm, questions. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this now. Um, it's starting to take a bit of shape. Uh, the eye wants a bit of brown in the eye. Um, let's put a little bit of this in there. This is a uh, copper, <laughs> copper colour. That'll do actually. A little bit in there as well. Yeah, this is copper. I'll put a list of all the colours I'm using in the description below, so you get an idea. Uh, okay, and then beak. Should be about there. Sharp triangle there. Uh, yeah. So have a look. Have a look at your picture. Have a look at that picture. Have a look back. Is it about right? <laughs> if it isn't, use the eraser. Or Looks about right. Yeah, that is about right, I think. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Let me stick in the beak. I'm always using this eye now as my uh, guide. To look at angles. Yeah, it should be about that. And then 
this little curves around. Stopped about there, and then the beak down there. And the head. The head needs to be about there. back, have a look, is it right? Is that head not quite long enough at the back? Should it be more, more there? Yeah, I think it should. But of course, we are constantly changing things. That's uh, the beauty of drawing slash painting. You can Constantly change, rectify, make it look as accurate as you can. <laughs> Use all the little techniques that you can find and, and use them to the best of your ability. <laughs> and then, uh, and as they say, practice, 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 and you'll get better and better and better. As a uh, I'm practicing, practicing, practicing <laughs> for uh, an art degree I'm doing. Now, uh, I started uh, my art journey. Well, <laughs> I was going to say I started it by doing Bob Ross paintings, and that did get me back into it, but I was doing it as a kid as well drawing cartoons and things but the, uh, the when I started watching Bob Ross it really got me going again and I was like oh, I really want to get back into painting and drawing mm. the reason I like doing it is because it's fun <laughs> enjoyable, I enjoy doing it. Mm. The only reason why I keep doing it I don't enjoy something, I don't really want to do it. I don't really want to continue to do it. As always I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, do the drawing. See, see what happens, really. Right, this uh, beacon. Sorry, I went quiet then. I was really concentrating. <laughs> really trying to work out where everything goes. Now I'm looking at the beak and I'm thinking, hmm, it's about that much of the head in length, so it should finish around there. About there. about right. Something like that. There I'd say. So I'll sit back have a look. I don't think that angle's quite right. I mean it should be more like there. So we'll rub that bit out underneath. It's 
Just looking, just checking all the time. See if I'm getting the angle right. Um, I think that line, and this is bothering me, this line here, it's not in the right place. I think this line should be more like that, it should be more. A bit lower. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll put in the body as well. And then what I'm doing now is looking at this negative space that there is in between the body of the duck and the beak. And I can sort of copy that negative space to give me a better chance <laughs> of getting things more right. And I've just realised there's no white metallic pencil. <laughs> on the top of it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, do yellow that more. There's a little black area there. getting better. This is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, I hope uh, you enjoy this one. I'm using a bit of silver now. Just to add a bit of light on there. green on top of that as well. Yep. Yeah. We're definitely getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, a bit of green on here. Because there is like a little green on the beak actually. On that top bit there. Okay, now, can I get a little bit, bit of that, so it sort of goes like that, and then it goes out again, 
It's a bit smaller here. Okay, now we need to add the black bit at the end. Um, I'll grab a black pencil from one of my other sets. Okay, I'm back and I have a black pencil. And, uh, that. I just want to darken that part of the eye. And this, um, get my shape right. And then there's some black on the front of the beak. Okay, this is better, better. So, move that one over there. And let's uh, put this highlight in here. The highlight goes up there. Yeah, okay. It's uh, coming on. Definitely coming on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sort of um, just keep looking and keep trying to improve things. Maybe we'll see if we can use the metallic silver for the body. We're using metallic pencils, it would be quite nice to be able to use it. Uh, and then we could always use the white afterwards. Because it does have like a, a greyish body here when the light's not hitting. Sort of got a bit of a blue tone to it as well in there. So it's uh, use a bit of blue as well. See how you can start building it, building it up. Yeah, it takes time, but it's worthwhile making that effort. Yeah. So I'm using a bit of black in there. There's a bit of green, sort of darting around a bit. Green under there just should make that a bit better, yeah. I mean, just that little line makes things better. <laughs> makes things more improved. I think angle of um, strokes are important. Getting the angles right. Because like this area, the, uh, the short feathers, I think they are feathers, <laughs> tiny little feathers, 
uh, going this way, and then that makes the head go this way. You see, Maybe blue in there as well. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. What you can do as well, you could always use a different colour to do your lines. You don't have to use white because now it's. Uh, the whites there to help and then we use others uh, there's some drawings I've been doing recently where I use pens and uh, instead of using like a pencil to do my lines I use the colour that I'm likely going to use for the highlights or the shadows as my uh, as the pencil I use to colour it in that made no sense, I'll explain that again. <laughs> um, say I was doing a, uh, a drawing of a lemon using pens, I'd use a yellow pencil to draw the uh, lemon shape, and then when I start putting the colour on, I don't have a, uh, a pencil line, basically. <laughs> I hope that makes sense, anyway. I'm going to use a bit of brown around this area. I can sort of see brown here. What's this? Copper? Yeah, copper. A bit here as well. Wherever, wherever you need it. I'm going to get the white pencil and just... That line there. Just that line. Needs it there. <laughs> Not line there, not that light there. There are areas that need it. Let's put it in. Yep, okay. Uh, we can lighten that there, yep. Just going back and forth there. I didn't want to get a solid line, I just wanted to highlight it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's uh let's crack on with the body. The uh, neck sort of goes down like that. Like this. Like that. That's about right. Uh, about right. And then what we've got behind, um, we need to start sketching in the body. So, right there, um, go in this line with this area. So, there's a line like that. That's where the wing is. How long is the body for the head? It's uh, to from there to there, it's like one and a bit. So it's probably about there. About that area. The wing size is about that. About that to the end of the wing. Top of the wing. Where does it finish? Out there. Out there. So that gives us a sort of an angle, really. Now, something like that. And the See, I'm doing this. I'm going. Oh, I'll use a pencil and go. <laughs> to try and get the scale right, it's always um, it's like that. It is about there. It's about there where the water is. So it sort of goes like that. 
let's have a look. See if that's a bit too big or not. Should be about there. Yeah, that's too low. It needs to be something like there. There. That's about where the foot is under the water, so that gives us a good angle there. Um, and the tail, about there. There's a, a feather there. Yeah, a little wing. Only sort of. Sort of in line with that area, probably sort of like that, and then down there. That sort of goes about there. And that the centre, centre of the wing, sort of here. Got a blue bit here. Something like that. Something like that. You see how I just go for it? <laughs> uh, oh, it's tricky. It's a tricky business. But like I say, it's good fun. It's the reason why I'll draw and draw and draw is just fun. And there's so much you can draw, isn't there? paint so much out there, so many ideas for yourself and you could even start making a few quid out of it, you know, drawing people's pets or something. That's not finished there. That wing actually goes a bit further. The look of it goes about white on my picture that I took. There is of course some variation to the tone of colour, but that'd be alright. We'll start inserting more of the other colours. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming on nicely. So I'm going to this. I should probably check to see how long I'm drawing for. <laughs> oh, well, I know. Uh, some people said they enjoy the longer episodes, so... If it helps, if you enjoy it, if, you, if it sends you off to sleep. <laughs> if you're getting uh, ASMR off it, then it's all good, isn't it? One thing about art and you know, drawing doesn't hurt anybody. Well, as if you're not doing caricatures. <laughs> uh, Witness some people not very happy when you do their caricature. <laughs> can be highly amusing to yourself, but not to them.
Okay. Mm, there we go. Something like that. Just smudge that a bit. We're starting to get a good looking duck here. It's not an ugly duckling anymore. <laughs> it's a, uh, a handsome drake. Which is the male mallard. It's a drake. You didn't know that. Wow. I did. That must make me some sort of twitcher. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> nah, I looked it up. Uh, just wanted to see. Get a little bit of history. <laughs> well, not history. Bit of information. That what I'm drawing. There is a really nice highlight on this bit there. I haven't quite captured it as well as I hoped. See if we're getting that wing the right length. Should be about that. Yeah, it's not long enough. I didn't think it was. It didn't look quite right to me. That should finish about there. So let's get the uh, trusted eraser out again. should say. Works quite well the copper does actually on the black paper. I haven't really done much with these uh, metallic pencils. I remember buying them excited. <laughs> like, yeah, look at these. What can I do? What magic can I create with these pencils? And then uh, I never used them. <laughs> do you ever find you do that um, by I had a bit of red in with this. It's not like that on the picture, but I don't know. Kinda wanted to add a bit more colour. Sorry, um what was I saying? Yeah, do you ever buy art materials and never actually use them? <laughs> oh god, the amount of times that I've uh, been in an art shop and I'm get excited about the material and I can buy it and then gets put in my uh, art drawers <laughs> never to be seen again <laughs> when I say art drawers I don't mean art underpants I mean uh, a set of drawers I use for my art materials <gasps> oh dear, bad joke time always happens I forget that there's some uh, serious people that watch these videos. <laughs> I don't want to alienate, alienate those people. Listening to my bad jokes. <laughs> oh, who hasn't told a bad joke in their time? It's a. Uh, it's always funny <laughs> when you find something hilarious and you tell people about, you tell people what's on your mind and they'll just look at you. <laughs> and like, oh, um, maybe just funny in my head. <laughs> just doing the tail now. This duck's looking okay, actually. It's, uh, it's not too bad, is it? Get 
Got more green in there. So I need to rub those marks out. I don't really like them. It's not like that is more like that. There we go. It's more like it in there. That's a bit longer as well like that. Um, can I start using my silver now? Metallic silver, just to, in, in these gaps that are black, I should fill them in. Should be good. I don't want too many, too much dark. Yeah, now then, we need a black pencil again, and I want to uh, darken under the wing. dark on the, uh, on the picture. Add that black. Yeah, that does make it better, actually. I'll get some of this blue, and I'm going to follow some of these shapes. You can see, like, um, shapes in the wing. I'm just going to try and follow them a little bit and add, add little bits of blue here and there. Mm. Let's give it a bit of white there. Now there's white on the top of the wing. white there. Very white. So we want that to be there. Yeah. Okay, and then there's this bit here, it sort of goes there. This is more like that, so let's get rid of that white bit there. Put this blue in there. Here, um, there's a feather that goes. Something like that. Let's have a look. Have a look and uh, get as 
some more white in there. Sort of a, a scruffy kind of on there, like that. Yeah, and the uh, back of the, just behind the head there, sort of quite light. So let's add that. That goes around like that. bit isn't as light there. So. Some of this blue again. Put that in there. Just getting a hint of white. Over that. Okay, does not look right. Yeah, it's a bit grey. A bit more grey there. And sort of using it at the side, you get that, um, you get the texture of the feathers quite well actually. can have a little bit of a reflection as well. Something like that. Let's put a little bit in there. And some bit of a reflection. Goes there, like that, like that. Under the water, and sort of bring that along. About how long is the foot? It is about that. About there. Finishes about there. Yeah, so it's about there. It goes along down. That is not right at all. That's <laughs> 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 where's that there. Okay, here we go. Let's go again. One, one like that and down. Yeah. Like that. Down. Now straight away there it goes. There. Yeah. Something like that. And then put that reflection there. We won't go too crazy with the reflection. Just to know that there is one. Really. Some of the orange. Use this red. And then we'll use a bit of the uh, other colour that we got. Um, do you know how this looks? 
Mm. What was that colour? Bronze. <laughs> the bronze didn't really work. It's pretty much what you can see under the water. You can sort of get an idea that there's a look under there. A duck spot. <laughs> shapes and stuff in the water. We won't go too crazy with those but I think we'll leave it something like this. Have you enjoyed this episode? It's a bit different to what I've done before. some good ideas. Just using this black to dull that white there. Okay, well, uh, I think we'll call this one uh, finished. <laughs> it's a fun little drawing of a uh, mallard duck. Um, have you enjoyed it? I could keep working on it for a lot longer. But I think it's best at some stage to go, you know, I think I'm done. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this one, and I will see you again at another one. Cheers, thank you.